It's about 6.20 in the morning. Gotta get up early if you're gonna hit those rocks. Today, we're headed to the Gunks. Let's go get my friend John. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. It's recording. You are on camera right now. This is my friend John. Without him, I wouldn't be half the climber that I am today. And I like to think that I rubbed off on him a little bit too. All right, now you have no idea who he is. Technically, I didn't get his consent before filming, so um, this man. Oh, I want a footage. blurred face and um. And my voice change. John has requested a blurred face and a voice change. I will abide by these wishes. Let's go to the gunks. We made it! Oh, it was long and hard. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to just relaxing in my hammock for a little while. We're here to talk about the Marmot Mica Jacket. And here it is. It's a fantastic outer layer. Let me show you. So, zippered pouch, right? Just like the, uh, the Mott Bell. But unlike the Mott Bell, this zippered pouch is actually the zippered pocket of the rain jacket. Now this is an extremely light just outer layer. People ask me, hey, how do you stay warm in that thing? And really the way to stay warm in it is layering, either by putting on a merino wool layer underneath like we talked about last time, or the Montpel x Light jacket is a great underlayer to this one. So it's not raining yet, but we fully expect it to rain today. And that's why I brought my easily deployable Marmot Mica jacket. It's very thin, but it's 100% waterproof. There are these adjustable cuffs that allow you to cinch it down to make sure that water doesn't, you know, drift down into your wrist. Um, there's a hood that is adjustable. I don't know if it'll fit over the helmet, we'll find out. Eh, kind of. So you put the hood on, it cinches down, it's very form-fitting, the hood actually allows you to turn your head within it without it shifting or disjointing the hood at all, so it still stays comfortable and stays, you know, centered on your head. And then uh, there are drawstrings up here at the top to pull the hood tight in case the rain's blowing sideways. Also drawstrings down here at the bottom to make sure that the same can take place. Super light, this fits easily into my Synapse by Tom Ben, and I've even been able to squeeze it down into a back pocket, um, just in case, you know, if I was preparing for rain. Look at my website, yanlhaze.com, for some more details on exactly why I think this jacket is the best waterproof layer jacket, and how it fits into my other packing strategies. In the meantime, remember that everything is totally manageable. Stay happy.